Yeah. So hi everyone. Good evening. Hope you all are doing extremely, extremely well and amazing. Uh, as you all know, today uh, we have an event of Metaverse and its future. And for this event, we have Mr. Shantanu Barai sir with us. He is a XI evangelist and CEO at AIverse. Welcome, sir. Welcome to Squad Growth. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you, Sarya. Thank you for my introduction. I'm doing good. Uh, hi to all. Thank you, Sarya, for uh, uh, inviting me to this event. Uh, it's great that I could share my uh, uh, ideas or uh, like whatever knowledge I gathered uh, for the last uh, uh, decade. I have been working in this domain from uh, 2012 uh, in AR, VR, AI. So it's great that I can share something to the community and contribute. Uh, that would be amazing, sir. Uh, people, if you have any uh, question, just put in the message section. We will take your questions in the end of the event. So yes, sir, we can start the event. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. So today uh, we'll be taking up a very uh, trending topic that is metaverse and uh, its future perspective and like what will be there, uh, like uh, like what is there now and what will be there in the 2030s. So uh, myself, Shantanu Varoy, and I am the XR evangelist at uh, uh, AIverse and also the founder. Uh, uh, I've been working uh, in uh, AR, VR, and AI uh, and uh, holographic teleportation from the last uh, uh, eight plus years uh, since uh, 2012. Uh, so let's start. Uh, let's deep dive into the presentation. Uh, so here are the topic that we will discuss today. Uh, uh, definition about metaverse, the technologies uh, around metaverse, uh, the early adapters so who has taken up metaverse uh, quickly and uh, the softwares and hardwares that enable metaverse, uh, the future perspective of it, the career options and the platform to get started uh, on metaverse and the Q&As can be taken at last. So what is metaverse? Metaverse is basically a, a 3D uh, a virtual shared space where users join together, interact with each other, with their avatars and uh, with the 3D elements that are uh, uh, simulated uh, graphic content, uh, 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 people can interact with it. Uh, uh, like uh, they can bring in the 3D elements. Uh, that's it. Like uh, uh, that is metaverse. So uh, what these 3D spaces do? These 3D spaces allow you to uh, socialize, uh, that uh, talk with each other, interact basically, uh, like in a way uh, that is that was not possible before. So uh, in a very uh, simple word, imagine that uh, you are in a, uh, a virtual uh, space where you can uh, work, uh, uh, you can talk, or uh, you can shop uh, right from the uh, comfort of your home. That is Metaverse. Uh, Metaverse is also decentralized. So having said that Metaverse is decentralized, that means Metaverse is uh, independent of any governing body. That means Metaverse has something like a uh, kind of different technology that it runs on. We will get onto it in the later stage of the PPT. So the key technologies uh, that powers the Metaverse are augmented reality and virtual reality. Uh, uh, like I think uh, everyone knows about it, augmented reality uh, is basically augmentation or placement of virtual object on a real world. Virtual reality is little different from augmented reality. It is uh, uh, taking the user to a completely different computer simulated and a complete immersive virtual world. And people can interact over there. So that is augmented reality and virtual reality, and that is the most driving force, or you can say the most important uh, parameter of metaverse. Uh, the next is blockchain, blockchain and NFT. Uh, blockchains are basically uh, publicly available digital uh, ledgers uh, that uh, 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 that captures uh, uh, the cryptocurrency uh, transactions from peer-to-peer -peer networks and uh, Metaverse run on top of blockchain. That is why we call it as decentralized. Now, what is NFT? Why this NFT is again uh, one of the 
uh, most uh, key factor in the metaverse. NFTs are basically a kind of uh, certificate, a uh, uh, a uh, stamp that a particular digital object in the metaverse belongs to you, and no one can take the uh, take the ownership of it, like uh, ownership from you. So that is where uh, the ownership thing comes in, uh, uh, in metaverse. Uh, then comes uh, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is basically uh, augmentation of intelligence, uh, uh, induction of intelligence into the machine so that it mimics uh, uh, the uh, human behavior. Uh, artificial intelligence is one of the key parameter in metaverse. It drives the avatars. It drives the smart contracts. And on the other hand, smart, uh, smart contracts uh, drive the NFTs. Uh, so that is how it is related. Then coming to Internet of Things, Internet of Things are basically uh, connected devices. When you are connect like when you are connected, uh, you can form a network, and there you can form a metaverse. So that is why Internet of Things or Internet of Everything. Nowadays, everything is connected with sensors. So we call it Internet of Everything. So that is another uh, key parameter. Uh, at the advent of uh, 5G and edge computing, Metaverse has got a complete different picture and uh, uh, like it is a kind of uh, breakthrough, uh, like you can say now Metaverse can come to every household with the help of uh, 5G and the edge computing because internet will become very fast. You will have the content, you will see the virtual contents or you will view the virtual contents, you will interact with the contents in a much a uh, better way in a much immersive way like with uh, like you can say almost with a zero latency so that is how 5g plays a very important role here are uh, the few companies who have uh, adopted metaverse at a very early stage coming to nvidia nvidia started with the cloud xr platform this cloud xr platform is very uh, like it is something very important because everything uh, when uh, rendered in the cloud, the headset size will come down. The headset that will be used for uh, viewing the virtual content in Metaverse will uh, like will be uh, like will shrink because everything, all the contents, all the power, all the computation will be in the cloud. So NVIDIA is one of the uh, major players uh, in the Metaverse. Meta, uh, everyone knows it's a Facebook brand and is also uh, uh, like they have the flagship product called Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 1, 2, now Pro has come. Uh, so uh, that is uh, another big player uh, in this domain. Then comes Qualcomm. Qualcomm with your uh, Snapdragon XR chipset uh, brings a lot of possibilities in Metaverse. People uh, like companies are building uh, their headsets on top of Qualcomm chipsets. Then comes Autodesk. Autodesk are basically 3D uh, softwares, which helps uh, uh, creating uh, uh, 3D assets. Google with their AR4 SDK can power the AR. Unity, one of the most important software, uh, like they have the most important software that is needed to create a, a, a AR, VR, and a, a metaverse content. Uh, then comes uh, uh, Gucci, uh, uh, the Animoca brands. These are the fashion companies that have uh, uh, implemented. Nike has also implemented uh, their metaverse called Nike Land. Uh, uh, Apple, uh, like as you know, Apple is coming uh, with their Air headset very soon. Uh, yeah, then comes the Amazon. Amazon with their AWS uh, brings a lot of possibilities with the 5G and the content streaming, uh, like with a very uh, low latency way. Uh, Microsoft with their HoloLens, uh, like are the early adapters of Metaverse. Roblox are basically the game, uh, uh, they are the gaming platforms. Matterport are basically uh, the 360 uh, company who uh, provides 6 to 360 uh, real estate experience to the users. So these are the uh, 15, I have uh, are, uh, noted here 15 companies, but there are many other there are decentralized uh, land, there are uh, uh, sandbox, uh, uh, there are many other uh, companies, Unreal Engine. Uh, so I have mentioned only 15 right here. So uh, hardwares are very important in Metaverse because that will enable uh, one to view the content in 3D. Uh, there are uh, many uh, like there are many hardware companies uh, uh, who are making uh, virtual reality headsets, Metaverse headsets. But I have mentioned only four because uh, 
these four are the major players right now. They are dominating in the market. Uh, Oculus Quest with their Quest 1, Quest 2, and Quest Pro. Uh, Unreal. Unreal has a lot of headsets. They have AR headsets. Uh, they are coming with their uh, VR headsets uh, very soon. Uh, then comes Ajna Lens, who has mixed reality headsets, AR headsets, uh, uh, the VR headsets. Uh, then comes the Panasonic, Panasonic VR headset, uh, which is again uh, a very miniature uh, virtual reality headsets, unlike the uh, HTC Vive, which is a bulky headset, or the Oculus, which is again a bulky headset. So these are the major four headsets that uh, that enable, uh, like that helps enabling metaverse from the hardware perspective. Coming to the software perspective, there are uh, software tools. There are many software tools, but I have mentioned only eight because these eight are the most important softwares that is needed to get started with. Uh, Unity 3D that uses C# language uh, uh, to uh, write uh, codes to make AR, VR, and metaverse contents. Uh, Unreal Engine, again, Unreal Engine uh, has two uh, two ways of coding. It has the uh, uh, drag and drop blueprint kind of uh, stuff. It also has a C++ code base through which you can uh, make games. You can make virtual reality contents, AR contents, metaverse contents. And uh, Autodesk Maya, as I mentioned before, they make uh, uh, like uh, they are the maker of the 3D software through which you can uh, make your own character, you can rig your character, you can animate your character. Same goes the Blender. Uh, Blender is open source. Uh, uh, students can get started with uh, 3D artistic works, 3D modeling, uh, uh, like uh, right at their first or second year because it's a open source uh, platform. Adobe XD, Figma, these are XR designing softwares. A Cinema 4D is again uh, uh, XR designing software with uh, like with a 3D perspective. Uh, Avatar SDK uh, uh, is something that is again a very futuristic. Uh, uh, like uh, companies have started uh, building their uh, photorealistic avatars from images using the Avatar SDKs. Uh, then comes NVIDIA Cloud XR and AWS, which helps in uh, uh, streaming the content uh, from a remote cloud to a virtual reality headset. So these are the software tools for Metaverse. Future of Metaverse. So uh, as you can see the statistics, uh, the current market size of Metaverse is approximately $22 uh, billion, uh, which is uh, like, uh, which is again big, uh, but by 2030, it is approximated that it will be uh, like reaching around $1,000 billion with a CAGR of 40% uh, growth. Uh, there are a lot of exciting things happening in metaverse. Uh, uh, people are buying land in metaverse. People are trading land in metaverse. They are uh, viewing uh, uh, music festivals in metaverse. They are creating their uh, 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 content. They are uh, uh, doing the live streaming of uh, music concerts. As you know, uh, BTS, BTS uh, has their own uh, Weavers, Weavers uh, platform through which they uh, they use the platform to stream the uh, uh, their um, music to the uh, crowd to their fans. So uh, platform to get started uh, on Metaverse, uh, there are a few. Ajna Lens ACP program. Uh, that is Ajna Creator Program is one of the program uh, that is good to start with if you want to build a career in Metaverse. Udemy XR Mart, uh, Masterclass is again uh, uh, another uh, good tutorial to start with. Uh, there is another one that is uh, Certified Metaverse Expert from Blockchain Council. That also is a good uh, platform to start with. Now I'll discuss about the career options in Metaverse. Uh, there are many career options i have noted a few uh, i have noted a few core ones that is computer vision engineer to uh, to make slam headsets 6 duf headsets uh, so computer vision engineers are very important there they use uh, uh, like uh, uh, open cv python um, and there are many other uh, uh, frameworks to use uh, uh, then Unity and Unreal for creating VR and AR content, 3D artists, modelers and animators, hardware engineers to uh, build the AR and VR headsets, 
AI and deep learning developers to create the AI deep learning algorithms, product manager to uh, manage the product. Uh, cloud DevOps are basically, as I mentioned before, AWS, you need to con like you need to stream the content from the cloud to your VR headset. So uh, uh, cloud DevOps. Uh, web GL developers, uh, they are basically web AR or web VR content developers, blockchain developers. Um, uh, blockchain developers are basically to build uh, the Ethereum network. Uh, the blockchain content. Uh, uh, XR designers are basically UI UX designers and storytellers. So uh, I have not quoted the average salaries uh, of them, but uh, on an average, the market salary will be uh, something around uh, uh, starting with uh, eight, eight, uh, eight lakhs to uh, 24 lakhs um, per annum. So this is what the range is. Uh, when you land up a job in metaverse so a few use cases there are a lot of use cases uh, you will get in internet uh, a few use cases that i have mentioned here uh, virtual meetings you can take meeting from uh, anywhere you can interact with the object uh, in a meeting you can give better product presentation in a meeting uh, when you use metaverse as a platform gamified uh, uh, immersive e learning is something like you consider you and your friend uh, uh, joining in a uh, 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 immersive platform where uh, you have a gamified experience, you win and you get an NFT prize. And then uh, you use that NFT to uh, uh, explore something else. That is something like uh, gamified immersive learning. Live virtual music concert is uh, like, as I gave an uh, example here, Weavers. Weavers is a BTS platform, BTS a streaming platform. Uh, they stream their live concerts to their fans directly and they talk, interact with their friends directly from uh, wherever they are to uh, the world. Play to earn crypto games are basically games where you play, you earn, you earn NFTs, and then you uh, use that NFT to explore something else, to uh, buy new games. Tourism, uh, tourism and travel uh, is basically another leap uh, where you can uh, travel to anywhere in the world from uh, the couch of your home. Uh, remote support, yeah, remote support is something uh, that is uh, that has right now been in AR and VR, but will be coming mostly in holographic teleportation, where a uh, remote engineer will be teleported to the site and uh, guide the technician. So that kind of thing will happen when the 5G and 6G uh, like will be implemented. So most of you who are aware about metaverse or who have researched a bit about metaverse must be knowing this picture this is uh, uh, a nightland uh, a, a, like uh, a metaverse uh, created by nike and uh, where uh, user like user have an avatar they customize their avatar they play the game they win and they get new nfts with that nft they uh, buy more stuffs and uh, uh, they can decorate themselves. So yeah, that's it. Like uh, there are like there are a lot of opportunities in metaverse. Possibilities are endless. So yeah, that's all from my side. Got it, sir. Um, people, if you have any question, put it in the message section. I uh, will take your questions right now. So yes, sir. We have a couple of questions. Yeah already uh, first is uh, how to become a creator in this domain uh when uh, you say creator uh, so i will go to that specific slide uh, to explain that uh you can be a creator so it's creator right yeah so you can create your content uh using unity 3d or you can create using uh, uh unreal engine these are the platforms you can uh, like you can have a basic understanding of C sharp C and then uh, the data structure of it C sharp um, and can get started with Unity 3D and you can uh, like uh, learn uh, to create your first AR and VR content. God, so God. Um, how will metaverse reframe human centered experience? Uh, yeah. So uh, metaverse uh, will like uh, 
see experience is something that is uh, like you know uh, like is more of uh, personalized right so uh, when it comes to 3d uh, there are a lot of challenges right now uh, that whatever we are seeing uh, in our uh, actual life uh, that cannot be mimicked in the uh, vr but yeah there are a uh, lot of ways where we can uh, have uh, uh, the designs uh, that that can help uh, people to uh, view the uh, like ui uh, in a proper way so that they can uh, have the content and the ui at the uh, same level got so another question we have is uh, as you said metaverse is decentralized are regulators ready for the metaverse uh right now uh in india there are a lot of uh, challenges to bring metaverse into regulation but yeah uh, like as you know in uh the other parts in the west meta uh, like metaverse and uh, the decentralized part of it is already being regulated and uh, like it's uh, uh, it's basically uh, regulated means when i say regulated the policies are uh, basically uh, formed with the vote of the people there there is no centralized body so in the west it accepts but yet to accept uh, in the uh, in our side uh, it will take some time but yeah uh, it will be very soon god sir hmm. by what time metaverse will become like internet today uh it will take uh, approximately uh, see uh, already metaverse has started uh, uh, becoming the internet right now people are uh, exploring a lot of uh, things you can see this uh, this slide i have mentioned that people have started uh, making the games people started interacting with each other but becoming an internet will take approximately uh, 2 to 3 years time and with the advent of 5g and uh, like uh, like uh, like as you know india has already started working on 5g jio is already working on 5g uh, antenna setup so yeah so it is very near uh, like within 2 to 3 years it will be there got it got it. uh so another question is does purchasing and selling in metaverse make sense in real uh yes uh like it depends as you know uh, there are there are a uh, few uh, like you uh, a few games already in the market Who, uh, like through which you can earn real money right so there are possibilities but again there are regulations that will come in it is not safe nor it is like uh, i mean uh, i'll not say it is not safe but there are uh, a certain amount of you know uh, uh, regulations that are needed but yes uh, earning real money over metaverse will be there in the uh, future like in the coming years and uh, right now it is mostly in tokens uh, like non fungible tokens and uh, like in form of uh, ethereum and uh, in the west it is already accepted and uh, like very soon uh, in india it will be like with a lot of other like you know taxes and regulations that will be coming god so god Uh, people if you have any other question just put in the message section so uh, let's wait for a few seconds uh, let's see uh, if they have any question or not yep so it seems like uh, they don't have any new question any other question so thank you very much sir for providing huge knowledge to our community it was a first event for the metaverse and thank you sir for the amazing knowledge thank you thank you sir yeah thank you everyone for attending uh so please wait for one minute uh, let me end the stream sure so thank you everyone for listening to us thank you uh
if you uh, enjoyed the session uh, just uh, just put a message like we enjoyed the session and yep, keep learning keep enjoying uh, see you in the next event bye bye